Okay, I'm here with Kieran Harty, he's the Chief Technology Officer and Co-Founder of Tintry. This is the VMware V Forum for 2014 in Sydney at the Lunar Park. That's why you can see the, uh, the Sydney Harbour Bridge in the background. Now, Kieran, you uh, were part of VMware from the early days. Give us a, a quick you know, rundown of what you were doing there and then, and then the start of Tintry, and then we'll go into what you're launching at this, at, you know, what you're doing in Australia. Sure, sure, Alex. So I was uh, I joined VMware back in 1999. I was I think employee number 25. Wow! Uh, and um, I ran all of R&D at VMware uh, for about seven years. So my teams delivered um, the first and a few subsequent releases of VMware's flagship products: ESX Server and Virtual Center, then I called vSphere. Yep. Uh, and um, I stayed a few years um, after acquisition by EMC. Uh, and then after that started Tintry. Now, tell us the the, uh, the background of what Tintry means and what sure. Tintry does, and then what you're actually launching here today, and some of the customers that you've been dealing with. Okay, sure. So, um, so first of all, in terms of what Tintry means, so I'm originally from Ireland, mm -hmm. uh, and Tintry actually means uh, lightning in Gaelic. Uh, so, uh, that's that's the the origin of the of the company name. Um, in terms of what we do, um, there's actually a very big market uh, around storage for VMware environments mm -hmm. and virtualized environments in general. Uh, and that is actually a, a $13 billion market. Uh, it's actually a market that didn't even exist uh, back in uh, 2001 when VMware first launched their server products. And so what we've done is we basically said, look, the storage that's been out there has been designed for a pre-virtualization world, yeah. uh, and so it was designed in most cases back in uh, you know early 2000s, or even the back into the 90s. Mm. Uh, and so what we've said is, if you were building for that environment, what would you actually build in terms of storage? If you could start uh, from scratch, how would you do it? Start from time? scratch. Yeah. It's sort of like when people were doing phones and yeah. they were taking you know operating systems that worked on laptops and trying to move them didn't work yeah um, and so it's similar in terms of um, when you're looking at how you would do storage um, for virtualized environments what would you do if you were doing things from scratch and that's what we've done um, and we've done something which is incredibly easy to use um, it's one of our, our big mantras is simplicity mm -hmm. uh, and um, it's also very fast and um, lightning fast mm -hmm. um, and it also is very powerful in terms of storage features and it's it's really kind of transforming um, what people are doing with storage. Um, we have uh, about 600 customers worldwide, um, a lot of very significant brand names, um, and um, I think we've, we've done really the, the next generation of, of storage that's really targeted for this new world. Now, I've seen the embargo press release, but tell us what are some of the you know, the key metrics or you know, how much faster is this new solution? What are sort of the, some of the improvements some of your existing customers, beta test customers are seeing? Sure. Sure. So, so this is actually just in terms of giving context on this. This is actually we, we launched the, the first products um, back in 2011, um, and this is actually the um, uh, yeah, all the Sydney flies. Sydney flies. <laughs> uh, this is actually the, our most significant um, release um, since that first uh, product. So, it, it actually has a number of different components to it. So, the first is the hardware side. Um, and we're actually launching a completely refreshed model of hardware. Um, so our, our old model of hardware um, was um, uh, 33 he, terabytes. He's persisted that uh, little fella. Uh, and uh, our, our, our largest model before was 33 terabytes. Yeah. Um, and um, our new model, our new largest model is 100 terabytes. So 3x in terms of size. Yeah. Just to give you an idea as well, um, this is something that's about four rack units, which is, uh, you know, a size in, in a data center. Yeah, the four U. And the four U. Uh, and um, in terms of um, what you can store, you can actually get a petabyte of data um, and 35,000 virtual machines, um, 1.4 million IOPS um, in a single rack of, of storage. And that's something with traditional storage that would have taken um, you know, three to four X that mm. in terms of the amount of space it would take. And then we have two other models beyond that, which are our mid-range and then our, our smaller system. So it's a whole refreshed um, lineup in terms of what our hardware platform is. But then there's more. Yeah. Um, so uh, the software is, is really as significant for us as the hardware. Mm -hmm. um, so we have a whole 
a new launch of our new whole new version of our Tintree OS um, 3.1 as it's called now um, and the cr critical features here are um, first is support for hypervisors um, beyond VMware um, so we launched um, support for Red Hat enterprise virtualization earlier this year um, but the big thing here in terms of multi-hypervisor support is um, support for Hyper-V, Microsoft Hyper-V, the second most commonly used um, virtualization environment. So this is going to be really significant and um, we're seeing a lot of interest in Hyper-V. You can mix and match um, VMware, Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization and Hyper-V all on the same system. So this is going to be very, very significant for us. The second thing is um, many people um, want to do automation um, in a data center environment. So they don't want to have a lot of very manual tasks that people are doing. And so we've launched our um, automation toolkit. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, this supports the ability to do things using the very commonly used PowerShell um, as well as REST-based APIs. So this is going to allow people to do what previously would have been long, tedious mm. tasks and do them in a highly automated way, something that our customers are asking us for a lot. Um, the next thing that we have is um, support for VMware Site Recovery Manager product. Mm -hmm. um, this is what people use for disaster recovery. A lot of companies are want to make sure that they're protecting against disasters mm -hmm. um, and it's um, you know one of VMware's fastest growing products. And this is something that is not just a conventional um, implementation of the Site Recovery Manager support. Um, this is something that's extremely easy to use, right? Something that can be configured in minutes as opposed to um, in hours or days. Um, it also is very efficient. So we send over the network um, up to 95% less data um, over the, the network than a conventional storage system. And the third thing is um, we provide visibility. So much like you know when you're driving your car, you couldn't really drive it without a, um, a gas gauge or without a, a speedometer. We provide the same level of visibility um, into uh, what's happening on the disaster recovery side. So the final thing that we're, we're delivering um, in this particular release is um, encryption. Um, so lots of companies uh, and organizations from um, financial services, healthcare, government want to have the ability to be able to encrypt their data. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we've seen a lot about oh, yeah. data being stolen. <laughs> yeah. um, and um, we now support really easy to use encryption, um, no performance overhead, so it's supported directly by the hardware. Um, and it's something that um, also does not have any space overhead. So a lot of really significant features um, coming out in the product. We've already sold um, versions of the product. Um, and the level of excitement, um, you know, around all of these features, um, is is just been, you know, the biggest that we've seen even since we, we've launched back in 2011. So, who are some of the Australian comp companies that you're happy to talk about that are currently using it or about to use it? Okay, so yeah, so CT4 um, is a, a, a service provider um, which is actually providing desktop as a service. Yeah. Um, and, and that's a very exciting area for us, which is um, service providers. There's a lot of activity with service providers in Australia. Um, and um, we're seeing uh, people that are increasingly deploying desktop as a service as well, which is a, a, a you know, easy to use desktop model rather than carrying around your, your laptop. I remember SaaS you know, stuff happening in the early 2000s or even just before. It's taken all this time for it to really mature. But yep. now it's here, people are using it. it. It is, yeah. So who was the big Terminator fan, given that you've got the T-800 series, and does this mean you want to terminate the competition? <laughs> well, Tintree also begins with T, yes, but, yes. But, but I think Terminator would be pretty good as well. So, so was it, was, are you the big Terminator yeah. fan, or, or one of your developers? <laughs> or is it just a, just a happy coincidence? I, just, I, just, I think it's a happy coincidence, but we'll, we've got to use that in some of our marketing absolutely, at some point. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So. Any final messages you'd like to uh, say to ITY readers? No, just we're, um, we're delighted to be here in Australia. I know we have to say that, yeah. uh, and, but we are actually very excited to be here. It's a, a great um, country, the most um, virtualized country and continent mm -hmm. um, in the world, and we're seeing um, huge levels of, of interest and in our product and we expect to see more and more that are adopting these new products that we've just announced today. Okay, thank you very much. Great, thank you.